This is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net and welcome to today's lesson that I've created for you on finger picking your guitar. Now in a very recent lesson we covered a technique that I referred to as the claw hammer finger picking pattern. Now if you've never heard of that or you're new to that particular pattern then I highly recommend that you check that lesson out first. In fact you're going to need to check that lesson out first to really be in a position to understand what it is we're covering today. So if you look to the top right of your video um, or of this video you'll see a little icon there, click on there and you'll be taken directly to that lesson and you can do what's uh, presented in that lesson, come back here and be in a much better position to take on what it is we're going to be covering. So that being said, what we're going to do in today's lesson is create variations of the claw hammer finger picking technique. So we've got the basic pattern down and there's a lot that you can do with that. But to be able to apply it in a more natural or musical way, you need to learn variations that you will come across and hear a lot in many, many songs. So we're going to have a look at a number of different variations of this pattern. We're also going to then mix them together in a short musical example. And that's really, really important to do because you've got to be able to mix and match your variations to, again, um, be able to apply them in a much more natural way in your music. Um, whether you're aware of it or not, this pattern is in thousands of songs. So you're going to find it really, really useful and you're going to be using it over and over and over again in your guitar playing. For more finger picking patterns for your guitar playing, click the link below this video and download my free um, ebook audio, easy to play advanced sounding finger picking patterns for your guitar playing. So some variations, let me walk you through some here. Um, pinching, this is a pinching technique. So what we're gonna do, I'll grab the C chord again here, is instead of just playing the root note or a single note on the first beat, I'm gonna play that and also pluck the, um, I'll pluck the, the octave on the second string, like this. So we're basically pinching between the thumb and the finger that's plucking the highest string. That's it, we're just gonna do that on the one and then continue with the pattern as we've been doing. So let me demonstrate that. I'll use a 5-4, five, 5-4 four, five, four bass pattern for this. So it will sound like this. As simple as that, we're just simply plucking the octave of the bass note. I could do other notes too. I could pick the first string, like this, if I want. Okay, anything's possible, but you get the idea. We're pinching on the one beat. So I could take that and um, put in my five, four, six, four bass pattern that we did earlier, and that would sound like this. too. Um, we could also pinch on the second beat. That's quite common and sounds good too. So instead of on the first beat, I'm going to pinch uh, with the bass note I play on the second beat. So in this case with my C chord, I'll be, um, the bass will be the, the second fret on the fourth string, that's my thumb, and then I'll play the C note up top again on the second string, first fret, like that. Okay, so it's going to sound like this. So it's the pinching technique, but instead of on one, we're doing it on two. Okay, so that's the pinching technique. That's nice to include in the claw hammer finger picking pattern as a nice variation. Um, something else we can do, and I was doing this in the little intro piece you heard leading into this video at the beginning, and that is extensions on your chords. That always sounds nice, brings movement and sort of a, a, a melody component to what you're doing. So again, on a C chord, let's say I, I'm gonna play um, the pattern, but I'm gonna play a D note, third fret on the second string. That makes it like a C add nine chord. Then I'm going to go to a normal standard C that we've been playing, first fret on the second string there with the top note and then I'm going to take that finger off and get an open second string and then I'm going to bring it back to the standard C chord. So you're going to hear this line of a third fret down to the first, open second and back to the first. 
or with our picking pattern. So I'll do that with a 5-4, five, 5-4 four, five, four bass and it will sound like this. Okay, now we could of course do that with the 5-4-6-4 bass. Okay, so it's nice because it brings in a melody component that sort of weaves its way through your chord. Um, so that is really cool to do as well and will make your line sound much more sophisticated. Um, okay, moving on with some variations and things that we can do with this pattern. We've really, or I've really just been um, playing in terms of the notes that I'm playing off the beat. Um, so any note other than the bass notes here. I've really just been playing my third string, uh, then my second and back to my third, right? I've been going like a one, two, third string, second, and third. But there's no rule saying we've got to do just those strings. We want to have variations to that. So one variation would be to perhaps play, um, let's see, we'll play, do this one. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing the second string, then the top, and then the third on the off beats. So we get some of the higher notes of the chord in there. So again, that one. Um, okay, of course I could do that with a five, four, six, four bass. Um, we could play straight eighth notes through the whole bar. So we're almost doing that already, but we could put a, a note on the end of one. So we could do something like this. Uh, like that. Any sort of combination of strings on top. Whatever you wanna do. You're gonna find you can just mix and match in the moment which is the beauty of it. It's really um, easy to create variations on the spot when you just work with some in isolation first. So what's not changed throughout all those variations is the bass. It's always on the beat. The one, two, three, four. That doesn't change. We don't vary that. It stays on the beat. So we had the pinching techniques, pinching on the first beat, pinching on the second beat. Uh, we had the extensions that we can add to add a sort of melody component to our pattern. And then we had the you know, um, different combinations of strings we can pluck on the off beats, always keeping the bass right on that beat. So for more common finger picking patterns for your guitar playing, click the link below this video and download your copy of the ebook uh, three finger picking patterns for your guitar playing that are advanced sounding but easy to play and I'm sure you'll find them just as useful for your guitar playing. Okay, excellent. We now have a number of variations of the claw hammer finger picking pattern to work into our playing. We've looked at some pinching techniques, we've added some extensions to our chords and we've changed up the higher notes or higher strings that we pluck with our fingers in the pattern as well. All for the sake of having variation and the ability to apply things or this pattern in a more natural and musical way. So it's important to work with each variation in isolation and to get it down like that first. But it's also very important once you've done that to start to mix and match the variations together. This is really important to train it into your playing so it comes out in a more natural and musical way. So I've got a little short musical piece here that I've created just for our lesson today that does exactly that. You'll find little bits and pieces of each variation in this um, excerpt. So I would strongly recommend once you've got the patterns or the variations rather down in isolation, your next step is to learn this example. Then equally important, take the ideas that I've done here to this example and create your own. It's all in creating and applying that you master these techniques. So you've got to make sure that you do do that. So I'll play that example for you now, um, mixing up the variations that we've just had a look at.
Okay, awesome. So that piece there is a really important part in getting the claw hammer finger picking approach into your plane so you can use it in real life, if you like, in real time. Um, yes, you need to get the basics down. Yes, you need the variations and you need to work on them in isolation, but you also need to then bring all those things together. And that short little piece I played for you does that. So if you learn that, you start to, to train exactly that, bringing everything together. Then you'll be able to use it much more naturally in your plane, if you like. Don't forget to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, you'll receive regular notifications of all upcoming videos if you do do that. Um, click the link below this particular video and you'll be taken to uh, my free ebook audio, three advanced sounding but easy to play finger picking patterns for your guitar playing. And of course, you can visit my website, www.acousticguitarlessonsonline.net and there you'll find many, many more um, acoustic resources for your playing. Thanks for watching today's video. I do really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.